Hi, and welcome, everybody. My Night Out Radio here. DJ Psycho Eddie. In studio tonight, we have Crimson. I always screw up your last name, so could you say it for me? Crimson Alchemia. If you want to give a proper introduction, just go with hailing from the Valley of Kings and the haunted dunes of Egypt. Uh, yes, he does wrestle. Yes, he does a few other <laughs> If you couldn't tell by the introduction, I'm not going to play his music because I think it's copywritten and he steals it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> also in studio with us tonight, we have George Garner. This is two weeks in a row. It is. I, I, I can't tell you how excited I am to have this much star power at one table, <laughs> dwarfed only by size and magnitude of the desk across the room with Tony Jones the re- at it. The reason I didn't say Crimson's last name on my program is that we've made so many snide remarks about ISIS around here that I mean, <laughs> it's just only a matter of time. <laughs> well, that, that's why you're getting good with one of them. I'm a big target. <laughs> <laughs> You and me both. <laughs> I, I figure this way. If we're getting good with one of them, maybe you'll you know say whatever to the rest of them, and you'll save my backside at least. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a little irreverent if you haven't been able to figure that out yet. But as always, we're going to start off with food because I am a fat guy, and we just came out of Christmas. Mm-hmm. I, I literally, I just, I could barely breathe a couple of times <laughs> over the last couple of days between the amount of alcohol and food ingested in a very short period of time. So I'm going to leave it right up to you. What was the highlight, lowlights? I'm not going to say, yeah, my Aunt Doris's fruitcake screwed <laughs> up Christmas, but have you been out to eat anywhere? A uh, little more often than usual, and surprisingly, I think, was it Shanghai? is up on Thayer Street, it's called. Yep. I think Shanghai. Uh, first time I went over there, it was uh, yeah, it, it blew the taste buds out of my mouth. It was actually really good and very hot. <laughs> now, what did you have there? Well, you- uh, I actually instead of doing like the, I usually get like General's chicken all the time. I was like, I'll go with the sweet and sour, and it comes out in this giant silver bowl with its own stand with the top to it. And all I'm thinking as I'm opening this is Temple of Doom, you know, <laughs> like when they're, I was like. Oh, monkey's brains. <laughs> but, yeah, it's so much food. It lasted about, like, three more leftovers of eating. It took a while to go through. Very cool. What about yourself, George? Have you been out? Uh, yes, I have. Probably more than is good for me. Uh-huh. Uh, mostly Chinese and Indian. So, have, have you yet tried Yi Express? Right down the street in beautiful West Wallach? No, I haven't. They have an amazing sushi bar. It takes a little bit more time. They, they are not. They're going for quality. They're not going for speed. They're not just trying to throw the food down your I throat. Don't have a problem with that. Mm. No, no. I, I trust me. I will wait a half hour for a good meal. Forty-five minutes for a good meal. I don't, I don't care about that, uh, as long as it's good. If I wait that long and it sucks, I'll never go back. And then again, you probably wouldn't hear it on this show. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring out: breakfast. I am. A, I get up at the crack of. Mm-hmm. Dawn every day. <laughs> I was going to use another word, but <laughs> Tony gave me hairy eyeballs. Uh, breakfast, you got to go right down to Warwick, uh, Shannon View Inn, mm. right down on yes. Post Road. They have, uh, Saturday and Sunday, they have a brunch. So you can have breakfast until 3 o'clock because I know some of us don't get out of bed as early as others. Some of us don't get into bed at all. <laughs> <laughs> there is that problem also. But I went there uh, Saturday. I had my wife, myself. We both got the same thing, which is rare in itself, but it was the Irish breakfast. And I've been preaching about this to all, pretty much every tapped restaurant. Uh, Doherty's, Doherty's Lakeside. They got Shannon View in. They've got Sullivan's Public House. But they have what's called the Irish breakfast, which is... Your, your standard eggs, uh, uh, home fries, and they have rashers, bangers, black pudding, and white pudding, which is a blood sausage, and then something similar but only without blood. Um, sounds disgusting when you try, describe it that way, but it is really good. You have to try it. Um, you don't, you're not tasting it, doesn't taste like you're licking a cut. It tastes, you taste, uh, the spices, the spice profile in the sausage is mm-hmm. amazing. And, of course, they wash it down with uh, a $7 pitcher of either Bloody Mary's or Mimosa's. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention uh, New Year's Day, they're doing a brunch. $7 pitchers of Bloody Mary's using 8-ball vodka. Nice. 
Yeah. Uh, if you don't see me there, I'm either dead or on my way. <laughs> so. I started my day off today looking for a good breakfast, and I actually went by to visit our friends over at Jell's Kitchen. I wanted to have the hot wiener omelet, but unfortunately, and good for Jell's Kitchen, good on them, they literally had a line out the door. So every seat in the restaurant was taken up. They had a line what into the breezeway and out to the door. You know, I thought I was going a little bit later. I got there around uh, maybe like 1030. Oh, no. And no. Uh, that place was jam-packed. But you have to line still had their PJs on, yeah. too. Good for them, though. I mean, to see, to see a, a thriving business like that, which is, again, mom-and-pop owners and just killing it at a, at a location like that. Okay, yeah. if you want to eat breakfast at a place where there is very seldom, if never, a line, plenty of seats available, um... That would be the new Denny's in Johnston. Um, sorry. A, a Denny's has risen get, from the grave. No, I, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I, I've, I've tortured myself. And when I'm drunk I'm, off my backside, that's when you go right. to Denny's. Are they you at 24 7? An actual mm. breakfast. No, you'll notice I'm saying this with a devilish smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, had, I had a similar situation, though. As we were driving around, every place was packed. Uh, I went to Newport Creamery, the Coventry location. There wasn't much of a a crowd in there, and the food was fantastic. I had the holy cow, and when my food came, I said, holy cow. It was just a huge portion of food. That's funny because, yeah, my girlfriend and I just went to uh, Newport Creamery in Garden City. And, yeah, it's kind of like a rebirth of of Newport Creamery. It's Yeah, the food was un-Newport Creamery-ish. It was was fantastic, and it was one of those situations where – I left just filled to the gullet, and I think our, our tab came to maybe twenty twenty five dollars. Ours was twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and well, it's yeah, good. Another place you want to try another mom and pop because again, being the the, the local business supporter that I am, I, I know. Go someplace where there's only one of them, and it's a, a mom and pop. Uh, if you're going down Route Two towards URI, it's in the the Wyoming area, maybe a little bit before that, North Kingston area. Um, it's called the Wolf Rock Inn. There's a liquor store attached to it. <laughs> One half is a liquor store, the other half is this restaurant. On the weekends, they do again a breakfast buffet where you get you know your standards: eggs, sausage, bacon corned beef hash and all that other stuff but then as you keep going down further you have like swedish meatballs ribs uh hamburgers it, it, it's the most bizarre ghetto buffet <laughs> it's cheap but it's re- everything there is really good i had the same situation last night uh i went to a place called Susie q's route 1a north kingstown saunders town area going towards the bridges uh, Christina and I were the only people in the restaurant. The food was fantastic. Everything was fresh. It's actually a restaurant, diner, slash deli. So I had the chicken cordon bleu or the cordon bleu burger and actually came out to the deli area to slice up all my fixings. Then they put that on the burger. And uh, oh. it, was, it was a little weird being in the restaurant, being the only people there. I could, like, see the, the, the chef, and the chef was also our waiter. But uh, <laughs> Now, was that was, just the time great. of day? Or? I think it's just kind of one of those uh, – Wickford and that area of North Kingstown towards the beaches is kind of a seasonal a seasonal thing. So I think probably they make all their right, money in the summer. And yeah, then okay. they, well, if you're in Johnston, I definitely recommend the Music Man on Plainfield Pike. I've heard the, good things about oh, that. Oh, it's great. And even if like even if you just need to stop in for a breakfast, you'll stop in just to laugh at the menu because it's a comedy show in itself. <laughs> Because they'll be at one point mentioned wet bread, the only good thing French ever gave us. Ah. <laughs> As you're reading through, you're like, whoa. <laughs> but it's also being a fan of music, there's instruments hanging everywhere. And uh, I, I, I think it's a f- old family relative of theirs actually has an old accordion that's like right above the bar that they have too. Because at night it becomes a bar itself. So it's definitely, I highly recommend that. Oh, by the way, um, anyone out there who doesn't understand joking with a dry sense of humor? Don't go to the Denny's in Johnston. <laughs> just, just go, go to the Music Man. <laughs> go to the Music Man. If we, if we have to spell it right out in these benighted times, yes. Well, I gotta say one thing before you know. I gotta get this out before we take our first break. Uh, the song we came in on was "Blindside Thunder," slow, hard, and steady. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, when you're working with a bunch of guys like we have here at Rhode Island. Uh, all right, free radio. Um, we're about 15 years old mentally. So you say anything, any type of a fart joke, anything that could be slightly misconstrued, 
Tony's usually one to get us laughing. And since this is an audio medium, I'll cue in our listeners to the fact that there is a big show, Paul White, WCW uh, era wrestling action figure, and also a Simpsons Krusty the Clown action figure on our desk here. And it looks like the big show is trying to do something unspeakable to the Krusty the Clown (laughs) figure. He's giving him the Heimlich maneuver. (laughs) Uh, uh, Krusty staring at my crotch at the same time. (laughs) It happens, you know. <laughs> it was lonely one afternoon. Uh, also, if you want to get in touch with us, uh, you want to get on the show like Crimson Hair, or you just want to drop some music on us so we give us a listen to get you out there, uh, hit us up, My Night Out Radio at Verizon.net, Facebook forward slash My Night Out, Instagram and Twitter, DJ Psycho Eddie. Hit me up directly. Also, check out MyNightOutRI.com. Which, by uh, the way, for some... Coming up later this week, so you're going to see a nice, sleek-looking website for you to check out for all your event needs. Very good. And I'm also in, in the works of getting all my previous podcasts up on iTunes, so we're, we're just... A media blitz, I think it is, for uh, My Night Out Radio. Um, why don't we take a break here? When we come back, we'll, we'll start haranguing Crimson over here and finding out what's going on in his life. Uh, we're going to leave here with a song, uh, Most Dangerous Men Alive, Women and Whiskey. We'll be back in a minute. I had it coming away. 